Concerns over safety and job security after Governor Asa Hutchinson announces plans to accept new refugees into the state. Fox 24's Jesse Pierre, she spoke with the mayor of Springdale who supports this program and says refugees are welcome in his city. She joins us live in studio now. Jesse. That's right. Governor Asa Hutchinson made a decision to continue to accept refugees in Arkansas after the Trump administration gave states the option to accept them or not. We posted about it on Facebook and got hundreds of comments. Comments from people who feel our state should opt out. Dozens of refugees now call Northwest Arkansas home, and Mayor Doug Sprouse has been welcoming them to Springdale. This is a uh, uh, a situation where uh, we're dealing with people that that are going through a legal process. Uh, they're well vetted. Uh, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Now Arkansas will continue to accept more. Arkansas is one of 42 states that decided to continue with the refugee admission program. Arkansas is a welcoming state. Wherever they come from, we benefit from their energy, devotion to freedom, and we want them to be a part of the fabric of our nation, our future, and our state. But not everyone agrees. Over 200 people voiced their concerns on our social media page. One of the biggest worries is losing jobs to refugees. Sproul says that is not going to happen. We have uh, employers almost in every sector uh, trying to hire people to work. <laughs> Uh, there are no, there will be no new residents that come to Springdale that will take a job from anybody in Springdale. Others worry that refugees are using too many state resources. I don't, I don't think that's a reason. I don't think that justifies uh, turning your back on those that that do need your help. And there is a way to help. And there is a program already in place that uh, and nonprofits that are already working uh, to help help these folks. Governor Hutchinson agreed, saying 98% of refugees in Arkansas have become self-sufficient between 90 to 180 days from arrival. As long as they're trying to be productive members of our, our community and working and doing things legally, then we'll welcome them here. A total of about 50 refugees will be resettled in Washington County. Live in studio, Jesse Pierre, Fox 24 News.